you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be going over whether or not I be believe this kickoff promo is even worth it. Is it a scam, guys? I typically don't make videos like this, but I was pretty hyped for the kickoff promo because based on the precedent they set last year, it was a pretty high promo. There was four masters. No, there was three bosses and there was like seven masters and you used, or you should, I guess you would call it like that. So there was the 91s that you put into the set to get the 93s. So it was pretty cool last year. So like there was like Casey Hayward, Ezekiel Elliott, a few more that I don't remember. They, then they combined, if you put them into the set, you would get back a Rob Gronkowski and Antonio Brown or Luke Keekley. Now the beauty of how they did it last year was that you could put in the, the players into this collection, get back the boss, you could sell the boss and keep the players net. So let's say that was Casey Hayward, Ezekiel Elliott, um, Saquon Barkley, and Travis Kelsey. Those are made up. So Saquon wasn't even in the league when they started. When they started kickoff, it wasn't even a thought. But the point is, is that the beauty of that was that the set would cost you like 700K. Or like, let's say, let's say the set cost you like a million coins last year to get all four of those players and you put it in. And you get back Antonio Brown kickoff and he went for 700K. You could then sell the Antonio Brown on the auction block, make back 650K, and for the small price of 350K, you'd get back Nat, Saquon Barkley, Zico Eli, Travis Kelsey, and Casey Hayward. So it was worth it last year. I used to, that was my favorite thing to do last year. Do the sets, get them back Nat, and then put them back in as, uh, and then resell them. So for literally, for I can get a bunch of usable players for a fraction of the cost that I wanted anyways. And then when I didn't need them late in the day, I just quick sell them for trading or I put them into exchange sets. And at the end of the day, I ended up breaking even about 200K after all said and done getting my training back and everything. And I was able to use good cards for quite a long time. That to me was a great, great deal. But before we get into the whole video and I start ranting guys, before we get into it, make sure to go down below, go hit the subscribe button boys. We're so close to AK. I know I keep saying that, but we're just getting so close. And I feel like every day, like it progressively gets slower. Like we're almost there. Smash the sub button. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I typically don't make videos like this, so hit the like button, guys, for our pain and suffering. Every, one like equals a better kickoff promo. And comment down below what are your thoughts on this kickoff promo. Now, back to what I was saying. There are no master sets. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, typically the way most games, or I should say EA in general, in Madden, runs these. If you come over here to Ultimate Kickoff Masters, it would be like Aaron Rodgers, Hopkins, Mack, Richard Sherman. And at the top, it'd be like kickoff boss and it would be like kickoff boss um let's say saquon barkley 93 overall and he'd be the boss so you'd have to put all four of them in so you'd get back richard sherman khalil mack deandre hopkins and rogers back nat you could have a nice quarterback wide receiver a cornerback and a wow an outside linebacker and you could sell the the master saquon barkley for like 800k 900k and then you could make back like at least three quarters of your money and then you could have a stud quarterback wide receiver outside linebacker and cornerback on your team and that would have been an awesome deal to me i would have i would have loved that i'd gladly take all four of these cards now would i want aaron Rodgers? maybe not maybe you last year the thing was you could quick sell them for quite a ton of training at the end of the day you end up making you might only lose 200k but you get khalil mack and deandre and richard sherman's keep you could quick sell aaron Rodgers. you'd get back for about half his price value in training and then on that you pretty much made out with like three 200k for three top cards in the game right now and that would have been awesome but there's no boss it almost feels like an, un an unfinished promo i mean unless this is how they're going with this route this year i love last year's thing like with the uh with the halloween promo for the sets it was put in the seven guys and get back the uh whatever it was i forgot what it was last year was it khalil mac or whatever and you just sell khalil mac or mean joe green whatever it was and you make back a good amount but they did not put a boss which is weird there's always a boss in a promo unless they consider these masters the bosses but then have to be lower overall cards that are better than them but they gave us 83s now let's get into that my issue with these 83s right is it is it here well you can see here there's the kendall fuller the carson wentz the akeem hicks the melvin ingram blake martinez cooper cup these cards all start off as an 83 overall now the way their overall increases is by wins so they're real life wins so let's say you have carson wentz and the eagles go 10 and 6 that means that they got a total of 10 wins every win is an increase in overall so if they got if they went 10 and 6 that means in 16 weeks from now he would be a 93 overall and they can only cap at a 93 overall so that means he will be a 93 in 16 weeks now i know what 16 weeks is 16 weeks is four months so from today's date let's do that so that's today's september 13th october 13th 
November 13th, December 13th, January 13th. So January 13th, we will finally receive our investments back from the kickoff promo. So you're gonna spend 100K now to get a card that when it hits 93 overall in January, it might only go for 100K. Because if you know anything about January, we're about to get into the playoff promo if it hasn't already started yet, which it should have actually. So we're getting into the January promo, which is usually Christmas. I mean, we have the Christmas promo, the New Year's, the New Year's promo, whatever they do for that, and then we have the playoff promo. So at that point, all playoff card base are 93. So it's kind of a scam if you really, if you really just like put it on like uh, look outside the box. You're getting a card that will be useful right now, except he doesn't hit that overall until four months later. So by that and by that by that logic, you're never gonna get the card that you're gonna want until you get it. And then when you do get it, yeah, you can quick sell it for training. Or you can get rid of it earlier. Like if they go 4-0, it'll be an 87 overall. You can get rid of it earlier. But if you want to get that max overall, it's never really going to happen that's going to benefit you. It just doesn't make sense to me. And look, if you read it, select one of the 83 above overall players, which will increase in overall and quick sell values of teams wins during the regular season to a maximum of 93 overalls. The requirements will increase by 3 on 9-19. So September 19th. So I really don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I'm not a fan of any of these sets so far. And now to get one of these players, it costs you. 28 collectibles and let's see the top one super bowl favorites so it, to make it even better to make it even worse they made it so the guys that were likely like carson wentz james white and kendall fuller they made it 50 collectibles so at least if it was like 20 collectibles like okay i can get kendall fuller because the chiefs will probably go like 10 and 2 to start the season or something like that so you, you, you could account for the chiefs to have kendall fuller at 10 wins pretty early but they made it even worse it's 50 so let's go see how much it costs to get 50 tokens Back out to the store here. We go over to store, and if we go over to browse store, we look at this. Uh, their bundle, their a hundred dollar bundle, just about maybe a little bit less, is twenty one collectibles. Let's go with this. Or this rounds up to about eighty dollars. Let's say eighty dollars for twenty one collectibles. So if you just went strictly, I don't care if the soul challenge give you seventeen. You would need to pop at least two bundles to get one of those players. To get Kendall Fuller eighty three. Two, so a hundred and sixty dollars for eighty three Kendall Fuller. Now forget that. Remember, eighty dollars for twenty-one. How much would it cost me to get a top set piece, right? A ninety-one overall card. A ninety-one overall card. If you go to Ultimate Kickoff and you go to uh, Ultimate Kickoff Masters, they go for a hundred and twenty. So it would cost you'd have to buy six bundles, just about. Let's go with five bundles, right? Because you do get the solo chance. Five bundles. So five times eight is four hundred dollars. So it would cost you damn near. Wait, wait, am I doing that right? Five bundles at eighty dollars. Yeah, it would cost you about four hundred dollars to get one hundred twenty tokens. I hope I'm not botching that, but the point is, I know it's I know it's above two seventy. It is going to be unless you get some per packs. I read on Twitter that it costs about two hundred eighty dollars to get one of these. You know what two hundred eighty dollars gets you Madden right now, or four hundred dollars? Four hundred dollars could get you almost two million coins on a coin sponsor, with a coin sponsorship. Like if you went to their website, it is absurd how they're running this, guys. Okay, guys, so now things get even worse. So on top of the excessive money grab, this is a money grab promo. No, no debate. In um, good Madden promo starts with these th these bases, right? The promo released at 10:30 on time and off. If you guys didn't know, the servers were down almost the whole day. Literally couldn't even get our first promo out on time. They they and they, the best part is they do the Madden stream. They do it. Everything's working for them, but they don't even know. Like they should always confirm that it's working for everyone before they start their Madden stream. Now to make it worse, the solo challenges were glitched. So all these poor people are spending their little free time they might have playing these solos, and they don't even get their five stars. Oh wait, it gets worse. The servers were down almost all day. But wait, but wait. They left the store working. The store to buy packs worked just fine. But everything else was down. So on top of all that, right? In my opinion, a good promo starts on this foundation. It gets released on time. They released quality players. I'll give them that. They released quality players. They did release quality players. But it was not on time. That's one con. They didn't release a boss. That's another con. And in my opinion, a good promo for no money spent people at minimum who need, you know, who need the help. They release one free player from the promo. It's standard. It's standard at this point. Superstar promo comes out. We get one free. I don't care if they're not. We get one free nap player. Last year, this exact promo, one free nap player. And in my opinion, a good promo leaves a set where you can build the boss and it leaves you with multiple nap players. That's just my opinion on a good promo. They didn't hit none of those. Not to mention a good promo means that if you buy the main bundle, in my opinion, if you buy one main bundle, you should get one player right what's it giving me right now what is this thank you for my ultimate kickoff pack let's see what garbage we get out of this oh ho Mac 80 cool so anyways 
in my opinion, like a superstar bundle, right? If you buy one of the big $100 bundles, you should be able to get almost enough collectibles to complete one with the solo challenges. So in my opinion, that 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 um, bundle should come with like 85 collectibles, 90 collectibles. And then you get the 17 free, and then you almost have enough for one. That is fair in my opinion. You should not have to buy four $100 bundles. Like, you know how absurd that is? It's absurd by the fact that we even have to buy $100 bundles to get virtual cards. That's one thing. And we still do because we love the game. But to buy multiple $100 bundles to get one player, I just, I can't stand beside that. I want no part of this kickoff promo. Will I pick up a Kolo Mac? Maybe. But that's what coins. And not to mention, I'm pretty sure they're crazy priced right now because of how many collectibles they made them. As a whole, I think this was an L. They don't, and maybe, you know, even better, right? So, oh, or there's obje there should be an objective list, right? A good promo has an objective list, like get 10 passing touchdowns, get a collectible, get 10 rushing yards, get a collectible, win 10 online games, get a collectible. Then maybe you build up half the collectibles doing so. Or they should have objectives plus solos combined to get at least one player. At least one free, not, right? No. So the only way they save this, the only way they can come back a little bit so we, to save some face here, I believe is if they drop a house rules, this Tuesday with a free Nat Ultimate Kickoff Master. That's the only way. And even then, we're not going to be content with it. This was a money grab promo. This wallet is the only thing in mind when it comes to this promo. And I can't stand beside it. When I made the video yesterday, it came off. It started off cool because I didn't know what was going to be in it. Now that I know exactly how this works, I, when I remember when I made the video yesterday, I was like, oh, these solo challenges give us 17 collectibles. Maybe a full one only costs uh, like 25, right? 30. No, no, it's 120. That just doesn't make sense to me, guys. That's about it for this video. I don't usually rant about EA, but this one was an L. It was our first big promo, and they botched it. Now we gotta look forward for um, some Mud Heroes, I guess, right? Kickoff doesn't have to be some big, extravagant promo. Just give us a few good cards, give us a master, and then give us a free player. That's it. That's all I ask. People will still buy the pack, as long as the promo is good, but literally views were down, Madden was down, the Madden community... Like the I, I'm out, I'm a head out meme, like that was Madden yesterday. Everyone dipped off the face of the earth when it comes to Madden yesterday because of how bad this promo was and the servers being down. But guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this you guys did enjoy and this gives you some insight on my opinion on the kickoff. If you guys like it, no no offense to anyone. It was just my personal opinion, obviously. You guys can have your own opinion. There's, maybe there's reasons why it's good. Maybe I just didn't go over them. But if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Turn on the noti bell, comment down below your personal opinions on this promo. And that's it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.